what? You're not happy? Well, turn that frown upside down. Because today we're using Bible Story Sticker Books. Woohoo! But first, I'm going to open up this pretty box and see who we're learning about today. The lid off it there. Oh, look, here comes my kitty. Okay. There is Moses. Oh, that is so exciting. We've got our little Moses toy here holding the Ten Commandments. We've got his rod on this side. Oh, my goodness. This is so exciting. Let's get him opened up. Well, hi there, Moses. We're going to learn all about you today. Oh, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've done the story of Joseph. I've done the story of Jonah and the story of Jesus. I did the story of David. And today, I'm doing Moses. The first page here says, this book belongs to Silent Mommy. stickers in here that are so fun and bright. Oh, I think I found our froggy. Alright, Mr. Frog, you go right there. Cute! The baby in the basket. Long ago, there was a powerful pharaoh in Egypt. He did not like God's people, the Israelites, and he ordered that all baby boys be thrown into the river. But one mother placed her baby in a basket in the reeds. Then she asked her daughter Miriam to watch him. Not long after, the pharaoh's daughter, the princess, found the baby. Imagine her surprise at finding a baby floating in a basket. Yikes! The baby's sister Miriam came up to the princess. She asked if her mother could take care of the baby. The princess agreed. The princess named the baby Moses. So our little fishy friend down here says, Use the stickers to make a scene that matches the story. So we must have some stickers of little baby Moses in a basket. Let's take a look. He is looking pretty cozy and happy in that basket. I guess it doesn't bother him that he's floating down the river. And here's the princess finding the baby. She's like, ah, why is the baby in the river? Ah! And here is Moses' sister. She helped to save Moses. What a sweet big sister. And here is our scene. So cute. Just take Moses. His poor mommy. Moses' journey. Moses lived in the palace where he had plenty of books and food and nice clothes, clothes to wear. Um, and our little froggy friend says, place the missing baby Moses sticker, then help him get to Pharaoh's daughter. So here's our little cozy, content baby Moses again. Oh, and we've got this maze. We've got to make it from baby Moses down to Pharaoh's daughter. <laughs> okay, these mazes are always a bit of a challenge for me, but I'm going to try this. All right, we ready? We start here. Going to go um, um, this way and over here and up here and down here. And no. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Down here. Down here. Oh, did I pick the right one the first time? Oh, yeah. First try. <laughs> I made it. I made it. I made it. Okay. Oh, these are super fun. Okay. Moses hears God. But Moses did not like how the Pharaoh treated the Israelites. He became frightened and went far away to become a shepherd. One day, while he was tending sheep, he saw an amazing sight. A bush was on fire, but it didn't burn up. He heard the voice of God who told him, Go back to Egypt and tell the Pharaoh to let my people go. Moses was afraid. God said, I will be with you. Connect the dots for each item and then place the sticker that matches its shape. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I love this so much. Okay, gonna do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna take a guess at what these are. I'm guessing that's a bird. This is probably Moses. This is probably a couple of sheep. Um, what do you think? The burning bush? <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Moses. Yes, it's a burning bush. Whoa. And sheep. And another sheep. And here 
their bird. Very nice. Okay, God's word. God told Moses to throw his staff down. It turned into a snake. Ah! That's when I run for the hills. <sighs> he told Moses to pick it up. It turned back into a staff. Okay, that's where I would have failed. I would have been like, pick up the, sta the snake. Um, no thanks. <laughs> God told him he would show Moses signs like this to help him. Okay, so now we're going to unscramble the words and put the pictures on that match. And do you know what this very last one is? I got all the rest. I got Moses, Egypt, Storm, Baby, Bush, Snake, Net, Sheep, Bug, Staff, Fire. What's this one? I think it's the C. I could spell it right though. That'd be helpful. There we go. It's the C. <laughs> Our baby. Yep. The bush. The icky, yucky, disgusting snake. The sea. Fire. Sheep. And the Ten Commandments. Where are we? No, what am I looking for? Mm, hold on, I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, so there's the storm. Here's Moses. And this word wasn't net, it's ten. <laughs> ten as in ten commandments. <laughs> Alright. I've got that fixed. And placing the sticker. Right there. Okay. Parting of the sea. <clears throat> the Pharaoh let the Israelites leave Egypt. And they started off on the long journey. But soon the Pharaoh realized he needed to keep them to do all the work. He sent his armies to bring them back. The Israelites saw the soldiers coming and cried for help. Moses knew God would help them. He raised his staff and God opened the sea to let them escape. The Pharaoh's armies could not follow them because God sealed the water back up. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool. Use the stickers and the code to find out what Moses told God's people. Then place the stickers to complete the scene. Oh, this is going to be fun. So, we have stickers to fill in the boxes and a little code down here. And then, when we're done, we're going to fill in all these stickers. Hey, stop eating Moses, Fluffy! <laughs> Do not eat Moses! Run, Moses! Get away from Fluffy! Fluffacon! Fluffy, I've got my eye on you! Bad kitty. Bad kitty! Oh, I remember this now. Okay, I know what this is. Do you know what this is? Do blank, blank, blank. Put some more stickers on. <laughs> okay, there it is. Do not be afraid. I think Moses could use that advice right now since my giant kitty's trying to eat him. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we're going to put these stickers on. These look super fun. Is that a pig? <laughs> oh my gosh. Check these out. It is a pig. The cutest little piggy. Ah! Sorry, Moses. And, oh, holy cow. Is that a snake? Ew! Ew, I hate snakes. Oh, kill it, kill it. Oh. I love how these books all have sunshines in them. Happy, happy, sunny day. Happy, happy. Put it right over here. There we go. There's the Israelites and there's Moses parting the water. So cool. 
Lapakan. Lapakan. Stop it. <laughs> okay, a place to live. The Israelites went to Mount Sinai. They put up tents. They were happy to be free and safe. They sang songs of praise to God. Seriously, Fluffakan. Leave it alone, Fluff. Leave it alone. Stop that. <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> okay. So, we are going to put the little picture stickers down here, and then we're going to fill in our crossword. There's pyramids representing Egypt. Oh no, not another snake. Ugh. There you go, snake. At least he's purple. Purple's my favorite color. I could maybe be a little forgiving of a purple snake. There's some water. Tent. There we go. The stickers are in place. I'm going to fill up the crossword. I believe this first one is Egypt. Hey, it fits. <laughs> this one I think is a basket. That's five across. There we go. Basket. And I think that one's a bush. Eight across. Bush. Okay. And that is a snake. Snake. Eek. I stopped liking snakes when I was a kid because my brother threw one on my shoulders. And it wasn't like a poisonous snake, it was a water snake, but still. Ugh. Nasty. Let's go to one down. That's a fish. Yeah, nine down is oh, it's the sea. Four down. Oh, let's see. Let's do this one. Two down is a baby. Baby. And four down. Do you know what that word is? That's tablet. Okay, and then six down, and sheep. And finally, seven down, that's it. Awesome, cool. Oh, oh, here we go. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing. Moses on the mountain. God called Moses to the top of Mount Sinai and shared his laws. He said there is only one God. He said people should not steal or harm anyone. Okay, so we're going to do this awesome color by numbers. This is like my favorite part of all of these books. I hope it's in every single one because I love it so much. I can't finally leave you alone, Moses. <laughs> all right, here we go. Wish I lived where there was purple mountains. <laughs> That would be awesome! Oh my goodness! <laughs> There's a whole hillside. It's yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. It goes on for days. Got a blue tent over here. <laughs> I have an orange lightning bolt. Right there. <laughs> and a fluffy kitty helping. Okay. <laughs> Fluffy. Fluffy does not like to be ignored. Will you stop feisting, Moses? When the clouds are gray. Ooh, it's a stormy day. Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> that was some seriously cool acrobatics, but bring Moses back over here, Fluffy! Got the color by number done, and then we have stickers to decorate our scene. Another storm cloud up here in our sky. Some more tents. We've got a pink and a green. We've got some sheep on the hillside. And a donkey. There is 
Amanda. Awesome. <laughs> okay, will you leave Moses alone? I can see him like squatted down back there, ready to pounce. Knock it off, Wapakan. <laughs> okay, so commandments. God loved his people and gave them ten laws called commandments to live by. And our little turtle friend says, find and circle the words that are underlined below. When you are done, place your reward sticker here. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh, we have full sentences this time. Ah, whoopee. Okay, so number one says, love God more than anything else. And God is underlined, so that's the word we're going to find. Word take. Do not take anything that isn't yours. Be thankful for what you have. Resting. Honor the Lord by resting on the seventh day. So I found all the words except for the word love. Can you find the word love in this puzzle? There it is. Love and respect your parents. We're done. Okay, let's get the reward sticker. This reward sticker is a little frog and he says, Woohoo! Woohoo, we did it. Moses and the tablet. Moses shared God's laws with the people. They were happy and they promised to obey the Lord. Okay, we're going to use the stickers to complete the scene. Aw, cute little tiny kid. Oh, that looks great. Here's our last page. God's love. God wants you to follow his laws too and share his love. You can show your love for God by learning the commandments. Okay, so my little snake ugh, friend, if you can go on that, down at the bottom says, use the stickers to match the numbers with the commandments. Okay. I thought we were going to have to guess, but it's written right on the stickers. The first commandment is to love God more than anything else. The second commandment is to make God more important than anything. The third commandment is to always say God's name with love and respect. The fourth commandment is to honor the Lord by resting the seventh day. The fifth commandment is to love and respect your parents. Seriously, you don't know what they go through to raise you. <laughs> I didn't know until I became a parent. Sixth commandment is never hurt anyone. The seventh commandment is to be faithful to your husband or wife always. The eighth commandment, do not take anything that isn't yours. And ten, be thankful for what you have. Here we go, that's the end. Bye happy humans, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this book and you want to see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up. Thanks, bye.